What is going on, everybody? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. This is your boy T McNeil, and this is indeed the DC show. What's going on with y'all, man? So look, if this is your first time here, make sure that you guys like, comment, and hit that subscribe button as it says down below on the screen. I myself would definitely appreciate that, especially if you're looking for the latest information in sneaker news, reviews, updates, and the newly acquired sneaker bargain. We're talking about sneakers for $100 or less. Trust me, y'all, this is the place that you want to be. All right, so what's going on with y'all today on this Friday, man? Hope everybody is still safe and sound. You all are quarantining continuously. I know we all tired of it, man. Look, I'm tired of it myself. You know, people have been uh, cramped up in the house, man. And, you know, it's, it's one of the things where we can't wait to get back outside, get amongst our friends and family, our loved ones, etc. You know what I'm saying? And getting life kind of back to normal, okay? Trust me, I do understand, bro. But... This is a necessary precaution, you know, to continue to keep everybody safe. And, um, you know, it is what it is. So hopefully uh, they'll be opening up the country in phases soon, as they supposedly discussed the other day. And, uh, you know, we'll kind of see what happens, man. But, um, you know, everybody, man, you just got to stay prayed up, man, and keep it moving. All right. So what I got for y'all today is the Air Jordan 1 Retro High Court Purples. All right. Now, I talked about these joints a while back. I did mention that they were on the way. So they are officially here, and um, I'm really damn glad that they are, okay? Now, I did have a shipping, I said I had a shipping today, I didn't send the shoes out, but there was a uh, temporary shipping delay on these shoes, man, because they originally released, released on April the 11th, but the thing is, um, I ordered them a while back, we're talking about like the very beginning of this month, okay? So because of the said virus and the said pandemic, that's really the reason why, you know, the shoes were delayed pretty much in the processing and, and, and the shipping and handling, things like that. So now that I officially got them, you know, I'm definitely glad that, I, that you know, they're here. You know what I'm saying, y'all? But originally, this was supposed to be a early hands-on review. But again, I mean, because of what happened, you can pretty much throw that out the way. All right? So... What's going on with y'all, man? Now, the official retail price for these shoes is 170 US dollars. So that's a typical going rate of all your Air Jordan ones. Nothing really that different there. Um, but the fact of the matter is this, that this is your iconic Air Jordan one. It's a retro high. You got the angle support. It's a classic, okay? Anybody in their mom is gonna wanna add these joints to the collection. No doubt about that, okay? Now, as you can see, they do come with an extra set of shoe, shoe strings, and I'm definitely glad about that. Now, by default, they come with the black, as you can see right here, and on the other shoe as well. But this is more like a lilac purple, okay, or a lavender purple, okay? So I'm, I'm definitely feeling that. Um, obviously, a different shade from the court purple, but it does work, okay, y'all? So the thing is, like I said, it's a high top version. Um, it's got all of the aesthetics. It's got all of the style that makes this a very iconic shoe. And this is the reason why I like the Air Jordan 1 typical. And the thing is, right, the Air Jordan 1 is a very, very comfortable shoe, okay? I mean, you can wear these shoes pretty much all day long, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you're not gonna have any issues, okay? The only thing that you're probably gonna have an issue with is the fact of the toe box area. And because of the way that the shoe is made with the leather, okay it, it it bends and creases very easily okay so all you guys know that especially if you own a pair of air Jordan ones or if you own a pair of air force ones either way they always seem to crease now i understand that they do have certain tools in the sneaker market that you can buy to actually try to negate that problem but um overall it's it's going to crease i mean it could probably crease day one okay depending on how long you're wearing the shoes and uh, etc. Okay, so you guys see it right there for yourself, man. Air Jordan One Court Purples. You know we got that very beautiful Court Purple leather all throughout the upper of the shoe. You got your classic Balls and Wings logo, as I just mentioned before. You got your uh, blacked out Nike swoosh badge right here. Pretty cool. You know coming in that leather right there. You got all that stitching. Okay, you got the beautiful white leather as well. Very buttery smooth. And, uh, you know, it's soft to the touch, all right? Um, you got your quarter panels coming in core purple. You got your toe box area coming in that, you know, beautiful white leather again. You got your air hole vents right there. 
All right, so then you got, you know, your purple tab going around the bottom of the toe box right there as well. And then it kind of follows on around to the inner portion of the shoe. Again, more of the white leather, more of the black leather right there on the Nike swoosh. And on top of that, again, you're on the upper of the shoe, you got more of that core purple, okay? Now, rear of the shoe, same ordeal. More of the core purple on the back heel base of the shoe. Um, you do have a more of a salted leather at the very top on the upper of the shoe where the heel support is located. So that looks pretty good as well, all right? Now, when I tell y'all, man, that these joints is buttery smooth, bro, these joints is buttery smooth, all right? Now, you can see the front of the Air Jordan 1 uh, core purples, man. Now, check it out. You got your soft mesh neoprene tongue right there. You guys can see as I'm squeezing it. Very soft to the touch. You do have a Nike badge at the very top coming in the core purple as well. So, that looks good, man. And also, it's actually a Nike Air badge. Okay? Excuse me for that. Now, we flip it around to the back of the tongue, man. You know, really not too much going on right there. You do have the leather panel that the Nike Air is sitting on. And these joints is coming in that uh, stitched white, or the white stitching. Okay, that's actually been stamped to the tongue. So, looks pretty good, man. You know, same ordeal with the other shoe. Now, interior of the shoe, you know, um, as you guys know with Air Jordan 1s, it's not a lot going on. I mean, it's basically like a blacked out interior. You know what I'm saying, guys? You got the blacked out cloth in there as well. Um, you know, we pull the shoe strings out. Now, here's the deal. Uh, on the shoe liner itself, uh, you guys may or may not be able to see it, but you do have a Nike Air badge on the interior portion of the shoe coming in that core purple as well. Again, everything else is blacked out, okay? And um, other than that, you also have the barcode on there as well. Just another way for the Jordan brand and Nike to signify to you, the consumer, and say, hey, this is an official licensed product, as they say. So it's not fake, it's not a fraud, you know, it's, it's not anything out of the ordinary. You know, this is what you're going to get when you spend this particular money. All right. And then last but not least, y'all, let's flip it back around this way and uh, let's talk about the outsole of the bottom of the shoe. Of course, one solid color, as I always say to you guys before about the fact that the Air Jordan 1 uh, and Air Force 1 for that matter, they always come with one solid color. So whatever the color of the, or the colorway on the body of the shoe is, the outsole or the bottom of the shoe is gonna match that to a T, okay? They never do any type of two-tone colorway or anything like that. It's always one solid color. You guys can see it for yourself. Very, very beautiful court purple shoe. Um, the shade is very nice. Um, and of course, you do have a Nike uh, badge on the bottom as well with the iconic Nike swoosh, all right? So if you guys have any comments and questions, leave it down below. Grab are going to get back to you. But let's do one more pass through, man, of these uh, Air Jordan 1 court purples, okay? Or the Air Jordan 1 high court purples, okay? Very nice shoe, man. And I'm glad that they are here, as I stated before, because here's the deal. Uh, where the shoes was dropped off at, I'm surprised somebody ain't just run off with them. Okay, so that would have been a tragedy, especially considering the fact how long I've been waiting to get my hands on these joints. All right, so like I said, y'all got any comments or questions, leave it down below. Like I said, um, they are readily, um, well, I won't say readily available. Um, you can try StockX, you can try, uh, well, that StockX would definitely have it. That's not a question. Um, you could try. Like East Bay, you could try Stadium Goods. Um, not sure about Nike. I think they may be sold out. I, I could be wrong on that. You guys might have to go in there for yourself if you decide you want to get these particular shoes. Um, but Nike and the sneakers app, they may be already gone. Possibly. You just have to double check. But guaranteed, uh, Kicks on Fire is going to have them joints and Stock X is going to have them too. Okay. Stadium Goods. They're most likely gonna have them, but keep in mind that uh, with stadium goods, especially, they're gonna be probably through the roof, okay? So if you guys don't mind spending that money, all right, do what you gotta do, all right? So like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And last but not least, guys, do not forget to tap that bell symbol, vitally important, so that way, as soon as I put up new content for the channel, talking about the DC show, you guys be in on it, and you won't miss a thing, all right? So, uh, let me know also, guys, um, 
if you want to see it on the foot review of these joints, I got you. I could definitely carve out some time. Let a brother know down below. Also in the comment section, if you want to see that. And, um, you know, we can make that happen. All right. So I appreciate you guys watching, listening and tuning in. Until the next time, make sure that you guys have a good one and continue to stay safe.